Hello everyone, welcome to the first tutorial video of QGIS. In this first video, we will be covering some definitions and applications of GIS and we will be contextualizing why we are using QGIS. These training tutorials and materials are targeted for new GIS users with no formal training or very less training using QGIS. Through this tutorial, we are not guaranteeing to make you a GIS expert but we are surely going to teach you the fundamentals. That is to open data, view them, know about different functions of QGIS, use them and make maps. After the completion of all the tutorials, you will be able to use QGIS at a functional level. Moving on, what is GIS? Environmental Systems Research Institute, which is an international supplier of ArcGIS software, have defined geographic information system as a framework for gathering, managing, and analyzing data. In other words, a GIS provides a framework for gathering and organizing spatial data and related information such that it can be displayed and further analyzed. GIS analysis helps to generate patterns and represent relationships which can further help users in decision making. Many policy makers, urban planners, scientists, and decision makers working together with organizations, industries, health institutes, governmental bodies, etc. use GIS to share information, perform analysis, and solve complex problems. There are several applications of GIS. GIS is being used in many sectors including business, education, government, health and human services, natural resources, transportation, utilities, communication, and many more. In business, for example, it can be used in marketing to create valuable graphic images that help to tell compelling stories and attract customers. In the similar way, in the agricultural sector, GIS can be helpful in scientific analysis of the production data which can further help farmers in increasing production and manage their lands more efficiently. In other sectors as well, it can help in incorporating data and get some meaningful outputs which can be valuable in decision-making process. Now let's see some real-time examples of GIS. Urban and regional planners in the township of Langley, British Columbia, Canada, have used 3D modeling to visualize the impact of new buildings on the landscape using QGIS. For example, in Yellowstone National Park, USA, conservationists and scientists are using GIS to predict potential land use change such that before the land pattern changes, some planning can be done. So these were the applications of GIS. Now let's move to what is QGIS. Since all our other video tutorials will be based on QGIS software, so let's know more about what QGIS is and why are we using it. QGIS stands for Quantum Geographic Information System. It is an open source GIS that implements a large number of geospatial data access visualization, processing, and analysis functions. It can access to both raster and vector data stored in varieties of formats. There are lots of tools or packages that can be used to fulfill few or all widely used GIS functions. But why should we use GIS, QGIS over some other GIS applications? So some of the reasons for this include, QGIS is free to download, and we do not need license to use QGIS and it is comparatively easy to use as well. Also, it has a user-friendly graphical user interface. Uh, besides, there are lots of documentation and help provided by the QGIS community and, and the documentation is easily available on internet for free. It has a cross-platform property uh, that is, it can be installed on Mac operating system, Windows, and Linux. Uh, also, it has an extensive architecture and plugin libraries. However, the most important thing is QGIS is constantly developing with new versions, new features, and new functions. 
Now let's see some of the features of QGIS. It helps to add varieties of data, as we can see in the right hand side, and view them in the form of layers. Also, map can be composed and special data can be explored interactively with a friendly graphical user interface. Vector and raster data in GIS can be created, managed, and exported in several different formats. It also helps to analyze data with the help of uh, vector analysis, sampling, geoprocessing, database management tools, etc. It helps to publish the generated map in the internet as well. So these mentioned features might be new to most of you. So it will further be covered in our next tutorial video. Uh, now, as we have discussed about the fundamentals of GIS and QGIS, uh, now let's move to how we can download QGIS in our desktop or laptop. It is very easy to download. Uh, let me show you. First, go to Google. Now you can type www.qgis.org. So this is the official page of uh, QGIS. You can easily download QGIS by clicking on download now option. And you can select for the versions of QGIS. The latest version is 3.12. So you can click on this and you can easily install QGIS. And for the documentation, uh, here are the QGIS user guide, QGIS training manual, a gentle introduction in GIS available in QGIS in the same website. So that's all for this video. Uh, in the next video, we will be discussing about some of the terminologies that you need to know before you move to analyze and mapping, analyze and map data. So that's all for now. You can get connected with us uh, through our email, Facebook page, or Instagram ID, and you can subscribe to our channel for more QGIS tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.